<clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and get Romans. We can get it. <clears throat> All right, Shalom. Make sure I got the volume up. There we go. All right, so <clears throat> Shalom out there, brothers and sisters. All praise to you. How about Hashem? How was Shai? Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Like I said, Shalom to the hopeful elect. And a quick message, bringing out some basic scriptures, right? As we always revisit the basics. You know, I just want to, there's a lot of videos going around. Brothers going to continue to get on these uh, wicked Israelites, you know, that, that for their wicked Passovers and all of that different stuff. Um, and we, we all should know by now that there are, as a, title of the video is be advised there are israelite devils wearing fringes too now we you know that we call so-called white man the devil the other nations you know we talk about them but you have to remember coming into the truth you can't be so so um gullible as to think that there are not israelites that are devils and we talking about those who profess themselves to be israelites not just people who are israelites in the world and they don't they don't really know or practice no we talking about those who practice being Israelites, those who say openly, I'm an Israelite, I'm from Judah, I'm, I'm an Israelite, I'm a Hebrew, and all this different shit. There are many Israelite devils, many of them. So just be advised on that. You can't be in the truth being all in your... <coughs> Excuse me. Bro, I can tell you how about Shemel Shai. You can't be in the truth and be so gullible as to thinking that they're not wicked Israelites. There are. And that can make you get offended when you don't understand the dynamic between the elect and the rest of the Israelites, even in the truth. Because you'll wind up getting offended at the gospel because Israelites are getting rebuked. So just be advised, there are there are Israelite devils wearing fringes too, as in also rebellious, wicked ass Israelites. And, that, and that's the first scripture on the on the list, but I'll read it from this brother. This is uh Ashra Ka Yasharala, Romans 9 and 6. Not as though the word of the Most High have taken none effect, for they are not all Israel which are of Israel. And that's a very basic, simple scripture, but so many Israelites overlook it. What does it mean? They're not all Israel which are of Israel. Just because you are Israelite doesn't mean that you're of the elect of the Israelites, and that doesn't mean you can be trusted, okay? Because the Lord clearly has an elect, and that's who he's dealing with. Why do you think that most Israelites don't even like to teach that there's an elect? Because if there's an elect, that implies there's a chosen, which means that there's some that are not chosen. And they don't want to be involved. They don't want to have anything to do with that much. That's why you keep hearing them say, our people this, our people that. Don't rebuke these brothers. Don't say this about that one. See, they want that, that but what I call a participation trophy spirit. You know, you got a bunch of kids, and they don't want to discourage any of the kids, and they all get in the race. And say, well, we all winners. <laughs> Everybody, you know, he's a little slow, big head kid who can barely run. He's a winner, too. No, he's a fucking loser. He's not a winner, right? The Lord chose some. He didn't choose all. This is Romans 11 and verse 7. It says, what then? Israel hath not obtained that which he's seeking for, but the election hath obtained it. You see that? Israel didn't get what they wanted. They wanted the truth, but all Israel didn't get it. It says, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. So if an Israelite is blinded, what would they be like? What would They would be more than likely, they would be acting out parts of devils. Let's go to the famous quote from Yahweh Shai, John 8, 44. He didn't say that for nothing. And let's get this scripture from this brother, um, Isaiah Allah, Idaho, Philippians 3 and 2. Beware of dogs, beware of evil workers, Beware of the concision, right? Be watch out for these people that say they're Israelites. And you know the type. You got Israelite grifters, Israelite, uh, uh, Israelite gangsters, Israelite thugs. You know, you got Israelite false prophets, Israelite demons. And all of these together, they're Israelite devils wearing fringes. Them grifters that want to get money out of you. Them cash app prophets. You see? That's all a big thing. These, these podcasts, these shows, these gimmicks. These elaborate con schemes are, you know, now you got the Israelite Bible. Why do you have a your own version of the Bible? See, that's just something that the world can look at and accuse. See, they, they rewrote the Bible, even though they've done it. 
They're going to blame, but that's all right, because we know the reason why. This is John 8, 44, and this is how it shall talk. And I'm going to start at 41. I'm going to start at uh, 39. It says, they answered and said unto him, Abraham is our father. Yahweh Shah says unto them, if ye were Abraham's children, ye would do the works of Abraham. Now, Yahweh Shah was talking to the wicked scribes, Pharisees, chief priests, and whatnot, trying to accuse him, right? But you have that same pharisaical, the wicked pharisaical spirit on a lot of these Israelites. You got, you literally got Israelites at the Passover with, with a fake throne, sitting in the throne sideways like a fucking gangster, sitting there trying to look all hard, you know, like fucking screw face. You know, you literally have that, man. Israelites had the Passover packing heat, standing like security guards with the big ass gat. You got the, the Passover with fitted hats and machine guns. But as Elder Apostle Ramlaw was going to his lesson earlier, that's part of prophecy. We can't get mad at it. You know, as Elder Yashawama made a lesson years ago, we can't be offended at prophecy. This is prophetic that it happens. You're going to have to have that. Now it goes on, but we don't have to like it, right? We don't have to like it. You know, we see it, you know, as far as our flesh is concerned. So going on, Shalom Shapa. It says, uh, verse 40, but now ye seek to kill me, a man that hath told you the truth, which I have heard of the Most High. This did not Abraham. You ye do the deeds of your father. Why are they doing those things? Because they're devils. Why you got a nigga on the stage, booyaka, booyaka, <laughs> long ass hair going off at the Passover. You know, Jake dressing, anything is a time for them to shine. This is a wicked spirit. It says, but now you seek to kill me, a man that had told you the truth, told you the truth, which I have heard of the Most High, this did not Abraham. Ye do the deeds of your father. Then said they to him, we be not born of fornication, we have one father, even the Most High. Yahweh said unto them, If the Most High were your father, ye would love me. For I proceeded forth and came from the Most High, neither came I of myself, but he sent me. And that's the whole point. The prophets come in the spirit of Yahweh and the ancient prophets. The wicked Israelites come in the spirit of the wicked Israelites, the congregation, the ones that was going off during the time of Moses on up, right? They, they, go, they come in that spirit, the spirit of Korah, Bimaram, Dathan, you know, those that wanted the Babylonish garment, though they come in that spirit. They wanted, they wanted something for themselves. We're on the way out of Babylon, you know, by way of, of salvation, and the Lord is going to destroy this place, but they, they're trying to latch on more. They're trying to make the truth more comfortable. And these are wicked, these are Israelite devils wearing fringes. He goes on, he says, Why do you not understand my speech, even because you cannot hear my word? Ye are of your father the devil. And the lust, you can't, you got to look at that. And the lust of your father, ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. And instead of them listening to the scriptures, understanding what it's saying and looking at the whole entirety of what's written in the word, they go to one place. They go and try to find, you know, King Josiah, whoever threw this big elaborate Passover, leaving all the rest of the Passovers out, the most solemn Passover that ever was with Jehovah Shai with his disciples, and they go right past that to go to the party, to the party and shit, man. You see? And that's the thing that, that really bugs us. Now, I want to go to 2 Timothy to show you that even when Paul was on the scene, there were people that was being kicked out. There was men that was acting up. They was, they was doing after the works of the damn flesh. This is 2 Timothy 4. And let's go right to 14. Now, this is Paul writing the letter. He says, Alexander the coppersmith did me much evil, right? At one time, Alexander was, you know, uh, uh, listening to Paul, okay? He was somebody who knew the truth. What did Paul say? Alexander the coppersmith did me much evil. The Lord reward him according to his works. What does he say further? Of whom be thou where also. You watch out for him too. For he hath greatly withstood our words. So this is somebody that was coming against Paul. And we know that he knew about it. He knew about it, what Paul was teaching, but he came against it. Paul said, watch out for this guy. Alexander the coppersmith. So yeah, people get called out. 
Names get called. Faces get shown. In our time, we show faces. Let's read that again. He says, Alexander the coppersmith did me much evil. The Lord reward him according to his word. You can't put a curse on your brother. Yes, you can. Paul said, the Lord uh, uh, do unto him according to his works. Let a curse fall on that wicked ass Israelite, that wicked nigga who did us much evil. And you got that in the truth now. You think that you got the prophets back. You got the women that, that was following you, how I shot their back. So you think that you don't have these other wicked niggas that the scriptures mentioned? You got them too. Okay, you got them too. Let's get also 1 Timothy 1 and 18. 1 Timothy 1 and 18. We're going to start there. It says, This charge I commit unto thee, son Timothy, according to the prophecies which went before on thee, that thou by them mightest war a good warfare. Is this warfare? Sure it is. Spiritual warfare. And it's not just against the enemies against the house of Israel. It's also against enemies within the house of Israel. What did Paul say? He, he had a list. False brethren, right? You know, false uh, messiahs and all these different things that you're going to have to be beware of. A lot of great scriptures, man. A lot of great scriptures. It says, he goes on, holding faith in a good conscience, which some, having put away concerning faith, have made shipwreck. Of whom is Hymenaeus and Alexander, whom I have delivered unto Satan. What? These Israelites, you, you can't say that about your brother. Come on, brother. You can't say that about your brother, brother. You ain't my brother, you damn demons. You know a man by their works. Yahweh Shah said that you do the works of your father, right? And if we would have read up a little further in John 8, let's see if I can go there real quick. These Israelites, you got to look at their works. As we've been saying, don't listen to what they say. Look at what they do. Yeah, how I said, you shall know them by their fruits. What are their fruits? The deeds, the things they do. This is, uh, yeah, John 8 and 38. Yeah, how I said this. He started, started 37. I'm going to start at 36. It says, if the son, therefore, shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. I know that you are Abraham's seed, but you seek to kill me. Because my word has no place in you. He said, yeah, I know you Israelites. You come from Abraham, sure. Then Isaac and then Jacob. But my word has no place in you. He says, I speak that which I have seen with my father. And ye do that which you have seen with your father. And then in verse 44, he said, you're of your father the devil. So, yeah, just because they got they to see we we from Abraham too. Yeah, but you wicked though. That gold teeth fitted hat. Diamonds in the teeth and all that, all that shit is of the world, man. Now, even if you go back in the, in the, in the uh, times and find that King Solomon might have had a grill or gold or diamonds or whatever, that's King Solomon, though. Where are we today? We in captivity. You mean to tell me you can go, can you go back in the, any, any place in captivity and see where the prophet Daniel had a damn grill, right? Can you go back to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, which is Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah? Can you find them having the damn gold grill? No, you can't. Can you go back in any time of the captivities and see us, you know, with gold grills? No, you can't see that shit. That's just you bugging out. First Timothy again, 1 and 20 again, it says, Of whom is Hymenaeus and Alexander, whom I have delivered unto Satan, they may learn not to blaspheme. So you can't give Israelites up on the Satan. You can't call Satan on these, these Israelite devils. Don't let them make you think that you got, just because they're Israelite, if you... If you say you were Israelite, you come up to me talking about you damn Yehudi or any of that shit, I'm going to say, man, get out of my face, man. All right? Stand over there. Get away from us. We don't want to hear that shit, man. That Yehuda, Yehudi, all that old crazy shit, that Jewish shit. Don't come around us with that shit. We don't want to hear that shit. You Yah Israelites, you niggas with long hair, all you out of order, man. You are out of order. Out of order Israelites really burn me. It really, ugh. You're going to take this precious truth that the Lord gave us and then you're going you're gonna to nigger it up. You're going to make it into, you know, something about yourself. Because that's what Jake is doing. They bring it shit from the world, trying to bring it into the truth. So be advised. There are Israelite devils that wear fringes too. As in also. Okay? Yeah, this is uh, S-O-Y-W-Y Vegas Apprentice. Matthew 7, 18. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire they're going to be destroyed and if you go back to jeremiah's time when he was rebuking judah you had a lot of them that said 
We don't care what you say, Jeremiah. We're going to do whatever we want to do. We're going to continue to, to burn uh, our incense to the queen of heaven, to bake cakes and do all that. And then they went further and said, you think the women said, you think we doing this without the consent of our men? They allowing us to do it. Jake know they being damn wicked, but they don't give a fuck. They don't care. They're just going to keep doing what they want to do. So let them do it. This is 2 Timothy 2 and 15. I'm sorry. Uh, how did I get that? Oh, yeah. 2 Timothy 2.15. Let's go there. And it says, Study to show thyself approved unto the Most High, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And among Israelites, so many don't divide the word of truth. You see? They'll read certain passages that fit what they want, but when you give them the whole, the full gospel, they don't want to deal with that. That's why they go and they pick out, you know, make it seem as though when you when you go into the rape thing, so-called rape, they don't see the provision there for when a woman is taken by force that the man is not put to death and she doesn't belong to anybody. They'll read the part where the man get put to death and make it seem like that's what it's about. Or they'll go and find certain verses that say you can't, they'll teach a teaching that's saying that They'll show you where the Hivites and the, and the, and the uh, and all, all those, those, those seven, I believe it's seven, the Parasites and the Hivites and the, and the uh, I can't remember all of them, but it say don't take a wife of them for yourselves, right? They'll use that as a doctrine, but then they, they leave out concubinage. They don't teach you the full truth. You see, and then they want to demonize. They use, uh, what's that shit called? Uh, sensationalism, which is emotional driven language curved towards them damn women. They use things like that to try to get to try to tr try to build up a following and they get these emotional ass women man okay now let's keep reading here it says but shun profane and vain babblings for they will increase in the more ungodliness what time is it hold on y'all it says and their word will eat as doth the canker of whom is Hymenaeus and Philetus who concerning the truth have erred there's two names mentioned Israelites of whom is Hymenaeus and Philetus, who concerning the truth, concerning the truth, have erred. They was in error, saying that the resurrection is past already and to overthrow the faith of some. <coughs> and you got Jake's doing that. They trying to prop up and keep that hell doctrine going. That's nothing but garbage from the world. That is, that's complete bullshit, the hell doctrine. You got a lot of Jake's pushing that shit, man. You, you, are, you are not... Of the elect if you pushing and if you believe in the hell doctrine it's just not there some place where you burn for all eternity it says nevertheless the foundation of the most high standeth sure having this seal the lord knoweth them that are his and let everyone that nameth the name of hamashiach depart from iniquity and that's the point because also too there's a name of the heavenly father which a lot of israelites don't want to call on and you got these Israelites who just accept every Israelite. Here it is, you coming with a, a different name in your mouth, but yet I'm going to accept you. Do you know that the sons of thunder Israelites call on, supposedly they say the name is Yahweh and the son's name is Yahweh Shah, but why is it that you, they keep saying Christ? Why is it that they endorse a board game who they say, well, we didn't make the board game. Yeah, but you got it, a, a commercial with your members in it and the damn board game got your Yahushua your and Yahuwah on the damn board game and Yah your Elohim on the board game and none of those are the names of the Heavenly Father. Why do they do that? Because they're on the take. They're on the take. They're Israelite devils wearing fringes. That's why they can't get what the mark of the beast is. One more, John. Just bear with me, brother. John 6. <clears throat> Now, this is John chapter 6 <laughs> and verse 66. Watch it. Oh, that brother read 666. See, we knew it. Look, nigga. There is a John chapter 6 and verse 6. What are we supposed to do? Just take that out of the scriptures? It doesn't mean shit. It's just what verse it is. From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. What did that mean? This is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai had men fall out. Men that left. But that's how it's supposed to be. The greatest teacher that's ever been. A sinless individual couldn't make wicked ass. Not he wanted to make them, but even among them, you had those that were not allotted to be of the elect, of the chosen. They were going to go away. From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Then said Yahweh shot unto the twelve. 
will ye also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. And the point is, these are the words of eternal life. But did notice one of the most vexing and curious things about these other Israelites is that they value their opinions and their emotions above the word. Even above what the word says. You can show them in the scriptures where they're not supposed to come together in unity, so-called, if you got a different doctrine. They throw that out. That's unbrotherly, right? They throw that completely out. You show them what the, the Passover is supposed to be a solemn assembly, they throw that out. It's a time to shine, to party, to put on your best duds and your best clothes and go be among... Jake just love a fucking party, man. But that comes from the, from the Babylon, Babylon spirit. Salaki, hold on, brother. That comes from the ba Babylon the Great. Now, do we have parties or uh, gatherings back in the Holy Land? Sure, but there was a limit to it. Now, in America, that's that that's that black culture spirit. Going to the club, wanting to gather, wanting to show off. You know, that that's a part of that hip-hop culture is partially covetousness. Or the main part of hip-hop culture is covetousness. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Okay, which is not of the Father, which is of the world. Verse 69 says, I'm going to read part of 68. I'm going to read 68. Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. And we believe and are sure that thou art the anointed, the son of the living God. Yahweh shall answer them, have not I chosen you 12 and one of you was a devil. So you mean to tell me, and how shall I knew that? So don't forget. All right, you're going to have those that's in the truth now, their role is to be devils. They're going to fall out. They're going to betray. They're going to do whatever they do. They're going to bring forth some type of, they're going to do some type of deed to get the truth blamed. IUIC got another video out with Jimmy Barbecue, <laughs> Jimmy Barbecue, Cherizie, right? And, they, and some, for some reason, they think that this guy is some type of individual to look up to. It was important enough for them to go down to Haiti to interview this guy so that he could get his story out the fuck you talking about one of the leaders of the world is never gonna never gonna be associated with righteousness how can you not see that man it looks suspicious it stinks it's wicked man you what do you care fucking jimmy barbecue you down interviewing this nigga they got the extended interview out now they pushing this guy why or supporting him should we say why are you supporting him? why you care so much you might, like I said in the video, you might well go to every hood in America and find the number one drug dealer and interview this nigga. Because it's the same shit, man. It's the same shit. Like, we all don't want better for, for our people. And this guy's a warlord, man. Masonic warlord with weapons. Armed rebellion rising up in the streets. And you, you felt that it's okay to go interview and keep putting up videos about it. I wonder why. It's ridiculous, man. Yeah, how was y'all answer them? Have not I chosen you twelve, and one of you is a devil? He spake of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon, for it was it for he it was that should betray him, being one of the twelve. So from the innermost circle, you have those who are going to betray. Be advised, there are Israelite devils wearing fringes too. Can't put that, you know, can't get that out there enough. Understand that and know. And you can't get too mad. All right, you can't get. I mean, I, you know, I got mad, but you, we get mad. Don't get me wrong, but don't let that take away your faith, okay? But the fact that you see wicked Israelites, because they're written. You're going to have that, man, right? Yep, bomb a lot. Jeremiah 5, 26, for among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that set the snares. They set a trap. They catch men, Right? Mainly them wicked ass preachers, but you got that among among the regular Jays too. Basic wisdom, Matthew 7 and 6. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs. Cash ye, cash ye, Salaki. Neither cash ye your pearls before swine. And when you look at the word swine, it can go into a what? A contemptuous base individual. Lest they trample them under their feet and turn again and rend you. And when you rend something, you tear it. So when you give a swine individual this, these pearls of wisdom, don't be surprised. They turn around and they try to they trample on the pearls and they try to come in and come and go at you. And we see it all the time. Jim S. Spiritual Art, Ecclesiastes 7 and 3, 7 and 2. 
it is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting, for that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. Absolutely. There you go. There you go. Shapab the 12, Proverbs 29 and 1, he that being often reproved, hardened his neck, shall suddenly be destroyed, and that without remedy. Right. We know that to be true. And that's what's going to happen because the Most High been doing all this warning through his men, the prophets. We continue to rebuke. We continue to do what the Lord said do. But Jake is ignoring all the warnings. You know why? Because they think they can they think they can go into the scriptures and find what they had. Somebody had, if, if one individual had a Passover where it was a party atmosphere, they think that justifies them to do it. They're not looking at time. They're not looking at, uh, um, what's the word? Uh, expedience, you know? They're not redeeming the times that they're in now. They don't care about that. They just want to do what they want to do. You see? And they will even make you a bad guy because you rebuke something that they do. How dare we try to uphold the standard of the scriptures, the standard of the Savior? How dare we? We supposed to go along with the crew. No, we ain't going to go along with what everybody else is doing. We're going to rebuke that madness, man. So be advised, brothers and sisters out there, there are Israelite devils that wear fringes also. All right? And I got to go. So all praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Shalom to the whole elect, the water brothers for the scriptures, all right? Shalom.